Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a few simple tips to get your desktop look very clean. Make sure that you follow along until the end of the video, get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. First of all, if your desktop looks like this, stop it. Get some help. So to fix this major issue on your desktop, you can target this two ways. So the first one is quite simple. You can create a folder on your desktop and then you can put the files inside this folder which correlates with the same topic or even with the name of the folder. And the other way is that if you right click on your desktop, you can go here to the view and then you can uncheck show desktop icons. Now all of the icons will disappear and right now if I go to the file explorer, you can still see here the desktop folder in the file explorer of course and here you can see these files inside it. The files are visible in the file explorer, however just not on your desktop. For the clean desktop experience, I think that the major role actually plays the choice of the wallpaper. So we can go to the website called 4K Wallpapers. So on the top right, I will search for Windows 11 and then press enter. And here you can pick whichever wallpaper you like. Personally, I will go with this gray one, which I think looks very, very sleek. And down below, I will click on more resolutions on the desktop. And here I will select the 4K version. Now, when I get the file, I will right click. Then I will go to show in folder and then right click on the image. And then you can select here set as desktop background. Now you can see that the desktop wallpaper changed. And if you want to do the same for the lock screen, you can open the file and then you can select here three dots and then you can set as and here select lock screen. So if I go to the start menu, then I will go here and lock the system. And now you can see that wallpaper is also applied on the lock screen. So we can also add more functionality on the desktop with adding a few widgets for rain meter. So let's go to the website and make sure of course that you have the rain meter installed and you can see this by the teardrop icon in your system tray that the rain meter is actually up and running so when we have the rain meter installed we can also install the skin for the rain meter so the one which i recommend is called jack score so if you search on the google for the jack score and then you can just go to his github website. Now on this GitHub website, you can go to the releases tab. So make sure that it says here in the URL releases. And here you can select the first one, which the type of the file is actually RM skin. So you can click on this one and get skin for the rain meter. And then I will install this skin and then I will get back to you guys when the installation is complete. So here you can see that I have Jack's core successfully installed and now we can go to the library tab at the bottom and here we are going to use two widgets from Jack's. So the first one is called Overlayer. So if you click on the Overlayer widget, we can click on this green arrow and the installation should start of the widget, of course. And after that, you should see that we have Overlayer installed, as you can see here. Now we can activate this skin, so it will look like that. But now it's getting the file or the image from a different wallpaper. So to fix that, we will need to modify our current wallpaper. So here I will go to the website, which is called Remove AI. So this will remove this background from our wallpaper on the desktop. And now here we can choose a photo. So here I will choose a photo or the wallpaper, which we have currently set on our desktop. So you can do this for your own wallpaper. So here I will click open and here the removal.ai will analyze the image and it will try to remove the background from the image. So I'm quite happy with this result here. Now I will click here, download high quality. So the output is basically the same as the input image. Currently, this one is 4K. Now you can click here, download high quality one, but here you will see that you will need to have an account for removal.ai. So here I recommend that you create one and then you will be able to get this one free high-risk download. 
So here you can see this image which I got from the overlayer without the actual background, just with the main concept. And right now let's apply it with the skin. So here I will close this image. Right now I will go to the Jack Score skin, go to the library. Here I will go to the overlayer settings. And at the top I will select from not active to the activated. And here you can see that we currently have another overlay up and running from different background. So this is why we still need this image which we got from remove.ai. So here if you go to the general, you can select here this layering image and just pick the image which you got from removal.ai. So here I will click open and right now you can see that nothing really changed, just this overlay created for the desktop. So now you can select the image fit, for example if it doesn't look right you can select here stretch to fit, fit or fill and now we are done with the first widget. We can also go right now to the home go to the library and here I will select modular clocks widget. So here I will first enable it and right now we can see that we have the skin activated. So here if I click on the overlayer we can already see the effect that we want on the desktop. So for example I will place the clock somewhere here and right now we can see this overlay happening on top of this clock widget. So here I will go to the style options and right now I will change the color render of this clock widget to something different, for example something gray. And now if I go back to the desktop we can already see the color change on the clock widget. Now if you want to you can also go to the render options and select here blur, but currently this one has some issues, at least from my experience it has some glitches, so flickering and random crashes of the Rainmeter program. So I wouldn't recommend it from my personal experience. So right now I think that the desktop looks already quite nice but still we need to add one more functionality and this one is start all back program. So this program will allow to get this beautiful dock instead of our taskbar. So here you can get the download exe file. Keep in mind that this program is paid however you can try it for 30 days I believe. So right now I will install the start all back and then I will get back to you guys when the installation is complete. So here we can already see start all back program in action and if I right click on the taskbar and then select properties here we need to change a few of the parameters to get this dock look. So here under the taskbar section of the start all back configurator we we can select centered task icons, so this will center these icons. Then we can select here segments and of course dynamic transparency. So under the segments we can select here up to three segments or just central segment. So if I click here just central segment we can see here that we have already this dock look that we want. So if you are happy with that I think this is it. So with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Thank you so much for watching. All the required files for this complete look are in video description just right below the like button. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel would also be much appreciated. And you can also always support me on coffee.com, link in video description as well. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.